Come on, guys. Let's do this problem right here. The first question is asking a mass a mass m is attached to an ideal massless spring. Then the system is set in motion with an amplitude a. It has a period of t. What is the period if the amplitude of the motion is increased by 2a? And if you like, you can put all the equation for the t period, right? There's nothing related to amplitude. For example, if I grab this one, t is equal to 2 phi square root of m over k. This depends on the mass and the spring constant and t. I mean, t is what we are trying to find, but mass and spring constant and omega is equal to 2 phi f. Nothing changes, right? So it doesn't depend on the amplitude. So we can say even if it's increased by 2a, it's still going to be t. So the answer is going to be b. The next one, the mass m attached to an ideal mass the spring. When the system is set in motion, it has period of t. What is the period if the mass has doubled by double to 2m? Okay, so when period is t and mass is m, this is going to be equation. This is going to be, according to them, this is going to be the equation 2 phi square root of m over k. So what happens if they put 2m? This value is going to be just 2m, right? So the new value is going to be 2 phi square root of 2m over k. So that's equal to this one times root 2, right? Root 2t. If you multiply this one by root 2, it's going to be this. So the answer for this one is going to be e. And the next one is asking in similar harmonic motion, the speed is great, greatest at, at that point in the cycle when okay so when so the maximum speed occurs when acceleration or they are putting all the thing so let's draw the acceleration and compare the acceleration velocity graph so if I draw we have velocity graph velocity times time let's say if the graph is like something like this okay and at this point this is the maximum right maximum minimum at this point what happens is the acceleration graph so if I draw acceleration versus time acceleration is basically slope of the velocity right so if I draw the acceleration graph that's going to be something like this And if you notice this maximum, minimum, like lowest point, it's going to be zero. Maximum is going to be zero. So it means uh, like when the speed is greatest, the acceleration is going to be zero. So let's see the answers here. The magnitude of the acceleration is minimum. Yeah, that's true because it's zero. So this one is true. Potential energy is a maximum. Um, not true. Kinetic energy is maximum. Not true. Um, the magnitude of the acceleration is a maximum. Not true. It's zero. And the displacement is maximum. Not true too. So from this one, we can arrive to this one right here. This is the answer. The magnitude of the acceleration is a minimum. So that's very obvious, obvious, right? If you draw the graph and compare, you will get the answer. And that's how it's done. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.